Hi boys, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. I obviously want to talk to you about your options for GCSE and specifically about science. In my opinion, science shouldn't really be, there shouldn't even be a question mark around science for you. It should be one of your core subjects and it may be one of your core subjects depending on what route you're choosing. If it's not one of your core subjects, it should be very high up your list of options. Why is science so important? Well, there's a number of reasons why. First of all, the amount of job opportunities that will be open to you after studying science, anything from engineering to healthcare, from the food industry to the sports industry, from an electrician to a physiotherapist, the list is really endless. Another major reason why you should be choosing science is the great results that we have in the science department this last number of years, and they have been going from strength to strength. In 2019, our average A star to C was 76% and that's across the three different science courses that we offer. Last year, 2020, that figure had increased to 81%. So we can give you a great opportunity to receive a very good GCSE grade. As I mentioned there boys, we have offered three different science courses here in St. Joseph's. The first one is OCN Science and OCN Science is 100% coursework. There are no exams. Within that course, you will be studying biology, chemistry and physics. You'll complete a number of units throughout each of those. If all units are complete, you pass and you will receive the equivalent of a B grade at GCSE. Remember, with the OCN, it is an equivalent grade. The second science course that we offer is Single Award Science, which is offered through the SIA exam board. That will be offered to students in RIT 1. Throughout that, again, you'll be studying biology, chemistry and physics. You'll be split up into module exams that will take place throughout year 11 and year 12. You'll also complete a controlled assessment task known as practical skills assessment. The third option that we offer here in St. Joseph's is double award science, again offered by the SIA exam board. Now double award science accounts for two GCSEs. It will count as one of your core subjects and one of your options. That will be explained to you in more detail later on. If you choose to study double award science, you will have science on your timetable for nine lessons a week, and that will be split between three different science teachers to cover biology, chemistry, and physics. The course is split up again into module exams that are taken in year 11 and in year 12. Certain courses at university will require double award science. If you have any courses in mind or any careers that you wish to proceed with, then you may need to speak to your careers teacher or your science teacher to decide if double award is needed or not. Over the next number of weeks, your science teachers will be talking to you on Teams about your options. I, as head of department, will hopefully be able to get in contact with all of you through Teams as well. If you have any questions, please just ask. Hopefully we'll see you all in science in year 11.